I think we're live. I think we're good. So, hey guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another live stream. We're I'm just doing my final bits that I always do to uh, get things sorted, and ready. Yeah, hope you guys are doing good. And there we go. I can't remember where my power button is. Do, 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 go to here. There we go. Sean here. Welcome back to another live. So, uh, let me know how the audio is going, if there's any problems, let me just double check. I'm just doing my final bits. Uh, okay, that does sound odd. Uh, ready? Yeah, okay. Anything different? And, there we go. Remember where my power button is. There we go. So, uh, let me know how the audio is going, if there's any problems. Any better? Yeah. So, audio is choppy, yeah. That's what I'm getting. Let me know how the audio is going. If there's any problems, let me know. Uh, next up. Please let me have brought it. I thought I had it with me. So, okay. I thought I had it with me. We're just gonna go with just the straight audio from the camera today. Should be fine. The camera has decent uh, okay. audio so, capabilities, so. See how it goes. I'm just trying to get caught up. Oh, there's a slight delay. Okay. Good there. My apologies. So, uh, I'm trying things a little different. The audio, oh, sorry, the, uh, the camera I'm using is the Action 4 works great. So we're going to be latching. That's why the aspect ratio and everything looks different than on the other one. Um, the Bluetooth connection for the, um, the microphone, I know it had problems previously and so it looks like it still has. So I thought that they had addressed that in a firmware update, but maybe not. But we're good. Let's go get some coffee. Take a wander, because I'm, uh, I'm thirsty. So yeah, let me know how the, uh, the video and everything looks. It's going to be a little different, but it should be fun. <clears throat> wow. And I have more schmutz on me. I doubt it. So I uh, kind of scrambled this morning. The... Uh, Oh, it's a busy weekend. Everybody, you, I don't know if I can say you guys know all about busy weekends. But it's going to be for you guys too. Um, just trying to get things organized and set up. Uh, it is the the Kamai New Year. It starts this evening here, and then it progresses for three or four days afterwards. So I'm just trying to get myself mentally prepared for everything. And. Uh, so just organizing myself because I have to go after I'm done the live stream. I have to go and get some uh, groceries and stuff done, and, and there's a bunch to, to, to organize. So uh, as I was getting things ready, uh, they usually clean my room Friday mornings, and I got a message saying that they're going to do it this afternoon. So I was like, okay, I got a little bit of extra time to get things organized and set up for the stream. And so I was just going to fiddle around and get the camera working and, you know, just try to work out all the, all the bugs. And uh, 
Then all of a sudden there was a knock at the door and they were coming to clean. I was like, ah, oh, shit. So I scrambled to leave. And so I'm kind of like behind the eight ball here this morning. My dude's back with the uh, breakfast. Let's see if he's got the uh, black sticky rice. If so, I'll grab that. That's my favorite. Let's see what we have here today. Hello. Hello. Um, that one? What? The three? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. My apologies, everybody. But food. Something I need to take care of. And I haven't put up the, uh, the chat yet, so... Getting things organized and set up. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the new year. Okay. Breakfast is set up. Let's put that away. Because I will not be eating this right away. I live in my bag. Oh, this is just so much fun. I need a better bag. Or not to have air in the air. Oh, yes, so. Needless to say, I'm running a little bit under the gun this morning. So my apologies if, um, if it's off and weird and odd. Okay, looks good, sounds good, feels good. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I'm going to be buying some water guns today. Send you a photo. That'd be awesome. I am not going to partake in the uh, water gun festivities, personally. Not my jam. Uh, I've addressed it before. I don't like guns of any way, shape, or form. So, I don't do that. So, But, to each their own. I'm not one of those people to yuck a person's yum, as they say. Oh, look at that. Folks at Fame Cafe are setting up the uh, flags. Good morning. I'll walk around the other door. <laughs> They're uh, getting things organized and stuff in here. I need my coffee. Hello. Hello. Americano ice. Uh, no sugar. I'll sit here for a little bit. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Set you guys up over here today. Hi. Feeling the need. I need coffee. I need it so bad. So yeah. Um that is life. That's the Yeah. Let me see if I can uh I might get that flicker in. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know if this one has the capabilities of doing anti flicker. Uh, this is, I think this is running at 720p. I don't know if it's doing. Um, yeah, oh well. Flicker will be what it is. I don't care. So, yeah, it's um, going to be a very busy weekend. So, uh, this live stream. I'm not going to keep it terribly long today. The intention is to uh, improve the no gun message. I remember when the scared local malls started having weapons, they make me feel more safe at all. Yeah, no, um, the, the, the water guns here are like big, huge. 
plastic contraptions that are full of water. There's no mistaking them for being anything other than what they are. Um, they're water guns. Just, I just don't like weaponry. So it's just me. Um, it's just my own personal issue. I have, I have trauma as a child with guns. So uh, and it continues. The, the biggest um, thing would be my grandfather. Uh, and he was in World War One, and he taught me a lot of things about war and weapons and stuff. And his thing was just to, to know. So I'm like, I, I can attest to it. I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, I'm more than okay with it. Uh, so yeah, this. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, so yeah, this morning I have a bunch of stuff I need to do to get ready for the festivities. Something I forgot, which I need to address, is uh, food. It's a um, it's a huge holiday here. So. Um, even when I'm on Food Panda, which is the, um, I'll show you guys. It's an app I use to get food. But I was looking at it this morning um, for breakfast, because there's a couple of restaurants I like to order porridge from, and they're closed until Tuesday. And I was like, oh. So there's there's that. Um, let's see if I can find recording. Let's see if this one, yeah. Now it's showing it's open. Interesting. This morning it said it wasn't open until six Tuesday. So I was starting to freak out a bunch before showing it. But now they're showing that they're open. Maybe it's just the app was being stupid this morning. Um, but anyway, I do have to go out and get groceries. Um, I want to make sure that I have some food on hand. I have a lot of veggies. I need to get a little bit more meat, some eggs, and a couple of other little bits and pieces. I have um, taken to making a uh, big omelet type of thing lately. And uh, I put like uh, bean sprouts um, and pork and tofu and a bunch of veggies and stuff into it. It's delightful, but I'm addicted to it, and I'm out of eggs. Justin, good morning. I uh, love having everybody here. So yeah, um, I, in order to go and get groceries, that is down at the old market, and uh, I'm not too sure if they're going to be open today, and if they are, I'm not too sure um, what will be open there, and um, this, I'm not too sure how well it will work down there. So, we'll try it. I mean, if I can take you guys in and go and do that, we will. Um, I, think I just wanted to have the, uh, the cold tea to start off with, because I've been just running this morning. And I'm very happy that the audio is working with the um, microphone, because it is the microphone on the camera. Um, Frank and Sarah, this is the action floor, and um, I know that they just purchased one for themselves. The, the way that you use this is there is an app called Mimo from DJI. Um, it's, it's, it's easy to use. The issue with it is that um, DJI, being a Chinese company, there are issues getting their app approved on Android. There is zero issues getting it approved for iPhone. So I don't know what the issue is. Um, it's been like this for a long time. So you have to sideload the app into your Android phone, which is no big deal, but if there's an update on the app, it tells me I have to go and download it and reinstall it, and that could be a little bit of a hassle instead of just getting updates. Um, but I find that the app on Android, because of it not being native, uh, does have problems from time to time. So that's... And when it works, it works great. So I'm happy I got everything organized and working with the Action 4. 
Um, the other reason I want to get it working today is because if I am to live stream for a Saturday morning, uh, that would be a Sunday morning stream. Sorry. Well, for the Saturday evening stream that would be back home, it would be Sunday morning. And so I wanted to make sure that uh, my camera was capable of handling those kinds of things. So if I can do the live stream with this one, because it's waterproof, I don't have to worry about anything. So it's, it's all good. And I'm so tired. I'm, yeah, I've been sleeping good. The, um, the heat is definitely starting to get to me. It's been uh, 40 degrees over the past. Hey Thomas, nice having you here. Um, it's been around 40 degrees for the past couple of weeks. Nighttime, it does cool off a little bit, but it's not great. Um, I think it was 28 last night overnight, so that's not terribly cool. Um, awesome, awesome frames here. Yeah, uh, they just got the action for themselves. So this is another reason I wanted to test this to make sure that I knew all the ins and outs of how the camera worked, so that I could help my friends out to do the same kind of stuff. Because you know, I'm a nerd. Friends are good to have. Do you know anything about the lore of the festival? Um, it's a good celebration, to my understanding. Uh, it is for the new year, so it's all Buddhist countries here celebrated. So in Thailand, it goes by the name Songkran, and then here in Cambodia, it's known as the Khmer New Year which I kind of fucked up and I called it the Cambodian New Year because I have a video coming out tomorrow for you guys that me being an idiot. Um, I just don't know enough about it. Um, the basis of the celebration is uh, I've heard mixture, so I don't want to really get into it. Uh, Justin, when does the water begin? The water should begin here tomorrow. Um, it doesn't mean that it hasn't already happened. I have seen some kids with water guns for the last couple of days. Kids are just getting ready. You, you, you can't buy water guns and have kids and not expect them to be running around. So, so I will plan. I do plan on looking into more lore and the reasons for things. But I don't know everything yet, which is which is me. Second, I'm put this in my back pocket. I'm gonna go pay. Let's get this going. See what we can get into. Um, good, thank you. The um, 
Well, the one good thing about this camera is that the field of view on it is really, really wide. And so when I'm doing this, I don't have to worry about keeping things, the face track or anything. So I might do this one more often, not gonna lie. I love the, action, the Pocket 3, great camera. But for live streaming, it can be a little daunting. <laughs> And plus, it's easier just to kind of spin this around and show you guys things. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll fiddle around with all of it. Okay. And let's see what we got here. Uh, Tony. Uh, this is, I, I think, five, Tony? I'm pretty sure this is the fifth one. Because I did two the first week, two the second week, and this is the third week starting it. You've been here for all of them, so I wouldn't even sweat it. Uh, how's your bicycle? You like it? Interesting you mentioned my bicycle. I love my bicycle. It's a wonderful bicycle. A little weirdo is wonderful. Um, but I kind of broke it yesterday. Um, one of the joys of being a heavier person <laughs> in Asia is uh, sometimes we just kind of are a little bit stronger than we think. So, when I bought the bicycle, they did not have gears hooked up to it. So, it was just uh, one speed, but it had the capability of being five speed. So they asked me if I wanted it to be updated to have the gears, which I said, yes, please. It was no additional cost for it. And um, so, when they put the gears on it, it worked great coming back. And then over a couple of rides after that, I would be riding and I would feel it slip a little bit when I was changing gears or when I was starting. Like if I go from a cold start at a stoplight or something, I would feel them go chickle, chickle a little bit, which is not uncommon. I mean, it happens. Um, <clears throat> so yesterday, I went out to uh, purchase a bike mount, a camera mount for the bicycle. And to the store. And when I went to go leave, I did my typical thing. I stood on it. And when I did it, I did something to the gears. So now it's like constantly trying to change gears and it's slipping. So, uh, take it in this morning. To, uh, yeah, there's a bike shop right across the street from my place. Uh, but I decided that with the holiday the way that it is, I'll just do it until Tuesday. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, no deal. Because I'm not planning on bicycling and doing anything uh, this week much anyway. So, but yeah, it works great. So, but it's fine. You are looking slim, Sean. Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't know how much of that is me actually just losing weight or me washing my clothes and hanging them up to dry and they're all stretching. Um, I'd say a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Um, I am seeing it in my face, so that is uh, that is the thing for sure. So I was actually watching one of my older videos the other day from back when I was in Canada, and it was in the summer, and so I had on a T-shirt, one of the T-shirts that I wore, because creature of habit, and uh, yeah, my face was a lot rounder. Uh, I could see that I was a lot heavier and so I'm definitely happy that I'm here for uh, <laughs> to lose weight so you guys can see there's all these so these are made by kids there was a, uh, a festival type of thing they had these like a parade 
and all these dinosaurs were part of the parade. They were all created by kids here locally in schools. I think it's just lovely. And they've kept them all over the town. <clears throat> so I've seen them in different spots and I think it's just delightful that, uh, you know, it's not just something that get used for once and then, and then bend, like they just keep using them. I think it's lovely. <clears throat> So, hot. Oh my god, so hot today. How I'm gonna. Maybe I can hopeful that they do spray water at me. That'd be great. That, that would be a good deal. Okay, what are we looking at for temperature? To do 35 right now. Humidity makes it feel a lot worse. Uh, so I want to walk down by the river because this is where most of the festivities are being held this weekend. Um, I was initially going to start my stream up by the uh, Royal Gardens, but I uh, ended up doing where I did this morning because of everything. I'm a mess. I'm an absolute mess this morning. <laughs> it's been... Uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I, I just get, I just overwhelm myself this morning. <clears throat> and my allergy pills are still waiting to kick in. Because I was going to hold off and do the, uh, I was going to go get groceries <clears throat> and then start the live stream. And I guess they still could have done that, but I thought it was. So they're going to be cleaning my apartment for a while. So that's an hour to an hour and a half. So I might as well do the live stream for about an hour. Pick up groceries and come back, and I'm all set. Logic was good. I just don't think I was mentally prepared for everything. Wow. So the um, the city is exceptionally busy. So this is way busier than normal for me here. Uh, even yesterday when I was out on my bike ride, which is another reason I'm not fussed about getting the bike fixed up right away is all the extra traffic uh, was daunting, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, they're, they're getting food stuffs and everything ready. So there should be a bunch of tents and things set up here. And if there's a bunch, I will turn the camera around and show you guys some of it. And we may go on just an adventure, checking out stuff. See what we got. Oh boy. See this one? Cross them all I can. Down here the other day, they had a bunch of boats out in the water, and they were getting rid of all of the uh, the grass in the river, all the river grass. So they're I, I know that they're planning on doing a bunch of boat stuff this weekend here. So that'll be cool. Uh, okay. Ah. Anyone letting off fireworks yet? Frank here? No, nothing yet. Thank God. Uh, oh, cranky, the roads would scare the heck out of me. <laughs> the titles are cool. Hey, do you want to Thank you. Uh, 35 miles of mass. Well, yeah. I used to be. Um, but somehow being here, I have found a way to adapt. I think it's like anything. Once it's what you have all around you, you kind of get used to it. Sorry, sipping my coffee. I'm going to show you guys some more stuff. Stuff I normally don't get to show off. The camera does a good job, so why not? I'm going to get the alligator over here. Oh, the crocodile or alligator. I can't remember. 
I know we have boats in Florida. I don't know what is more prevalent here. Uh, I'm trying to think. I know the difference is a snout. Alligators have a thinner snout, so this looks more like a crocodile snout. I could be wrong. Correct me. Let me know. I'm not perfect. Ugh. But yeah, AG Puzzle Ferret. Um, heat and I are not friends. I've mentioned maybe in a few of my videos and streams is that uh, back home in Canada, our summers, they get warm. Um, but Fredericton, where I was living last, uh, the high we got last summer was 33. And that was a, um, we had a heat warning. And it lasted for two days. And uh, like everyone thought that they were going to die. And you know, it was just misery. And again, our homes there are geared towards colder climate, so they tend to retain the heat. So, when you go to cool off your house, it takes a lot longer to get it. And plus, when um, the when the heat would hit the house, like when the sun would bake down on it, um, you could feel this. Like I could stand in my apartment and point to the part of the ceiling where you could feel the radiation from the sun kind of hitting. Like you can feel the, you can feel the heat coming from certain spots. So again, that's how our, our houses are built there. <clears throat> so they do not, uh, they're not good in, in the hot weather. So it's pretty miserable. But it, um, yeah, I, this weather back home, it, it would suck but I, I grew up in Florida so we have in the summer we'll get to the I would say like high 80s 90s so that would be um, the high yeah the high 20s through um, mid 30s so I, I'm not well, like I'm not I don't it's not like I don't know what the heat feels like I've, I've been through it but uh, but here somehow like right now I'm sweating but I don't feel uncomfortable um, I'm hazy today too I don't know if that's just me if I need to clean my glasses but let me know you guys, let me know. Do you see a bit of a haze down on the water? It does look lovely here, though. All the light. Until we get all the people. The thing I don't normally show is traffic, so we'll see it today. This is going to be the fun. Look through the setting of a stage here. For some live concerts, which would be grand. And let's see what we got here. Oh, my boy. Ta da! I made it. So, if I'm slow on chat today, it's on purpose. I've got a lot to, uh... Here's the thing, this phone gets hot, and uh, I'm trying to baby it a little bit. So it just does the, uh, the heavy lifting for the Wi-Fi, because it's a hot spot for me. So, uh, heading out, explore the part of Bangkok. Dude, Frank, sir, thank you so much. Good luck with your, uh, your recording. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, Frank and Sarah, they are friends of mine, but they are also content creators uh, They make amazing videos, and uh, they just braved northern parts of Thailand where the temperatures are very high, and not only that, the air quality was miserable there. Uh, they were in Chiang Mai and Pai, and uh, more than one occasion it was up over 200. That would be a good day. 
and then a couple of days it was over 400. And uh, those numbers meant nothing to me before I came to Southeast Asia. Uh, air quality, the way that they rate it, there's like danger zones. So it was green, is from zero to 50 or 49. Um, moderate is 50 to 100. So it goes in, looks like it goes in steps to 50. And then there's a, uh, a PM 2.5 is the particulate that they worry about the most. And those are microscopic uh, pollutants that you can breathe in, but they are small enough that they will get into your bloodstream and they will affect your organs. So they are a detriment. So when they get high enough, they put up warning so that you limit your exposure to it outside. And being indoors and all that helps and wearing a mask and all those kind of things. That, that is all part of what you have to do in order to safeguard yourself against it. But Frank and Sarah were up in the thick of it the last couple of weeks and they just got down to Bangkok the other day. And uh, not only did they suffer, but their poor GoPro suffered as well. And uh, and it caused them endless amounts of grief. And so <clears throat> they asked for recommendations on cameras. And of course I recommend the DJI Action 4 because even when it gets hot and it's stupid hot here, I've had it never falter. <clears throat> I did have it, which is funny. Uh, last week I did a recording, I did a cooking video. And so when I did that video, I had this camera kind of on a tripod over top of the, uh, the walk and it got hot. Like it was hot in the kitchen, but it was close to the, uh, to the cooking surface. So the camera to safeguard itself, it shut off all the screens. So I thought that that had shut down everything. It hadn't, it was still recording and it did flawless recording but I had taken the camera thinking that it was no longer working and set it down on the countertop. And so I had like 15 minutes of recording of the countertop, which I thought was kind of funny. So, yeah, I can attest that this is a decent camera for, for doing stuff. Um, to do, if you know, a... <laughs> oh god, what the hell? Okay, this is new. A uh, tent across the, uh, the sidewalk, slightly elevated. <laughs> that is kind of hilarious. I don't know what that's for. But I do find it funny. There are things like that all the time. Where I'll find a, a car parked on the sidewalk. Where a bunch of tuk-tuks will be lined up in the shade. Blocking the foot traffic. And I get that. I mean, it gets stupid hot here in the sun. So the tuk-tuk driver wants to get in the shade and kind of relax. I cannot understand it. Hello, I'm good, thank you. So, I'm curious to see how well this is going to do down here. I'm trying to stay away from the problem zone because Pub Street's just over there. And that's where I've been that it kind of goes wonky with losing signal. So if we do lose signal at any point here, I'll try to keep it going, um, but it may end up stopping. So I will apologize for that. But I do need to go get groceries. So. But I, I forgot to check that I bring my uh, my bag. I have a bag for uh, groceries that I carry. Oh God! Stop. Tablet. Nope. Yes. No. Nope. I didn't bring it. <laughs> Not the end of the world. 
I'm not getting tons. Eggs, meat, some veggies. And uh, I actually have a hankering and a craving for uh, mashed potatoes. Of all things, I have no idea why. So uh, I may pick up a couple potatoes. But I try to limit my uh, my cooking <laughs> to uh, one dish in 15 or 20 minutes so that it doesn't get too hot. Because that kitchen gets stupid hot. Okay, they are. Ooh, that's a nice smell. It's like a smoke smell, but it's. Uh, like it, it's got to go. It's weird to say this, but it's got a smoky smell to it, like an undertone, like a mesquite kind of smell. It smells good. Uh, got a little white cross this in front of the water first. Oh, I didn't think of that. I did not think of that. Of that. Yeah. There are supposed to be um, areas set up here for folks. Uh, they are going to have like a, you know outside bathrooms, so you know the porta potties and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it makes sense that they're going to have uh, areas for folks to get help if they are not feeling good. Well, there's a hospital that's just over there too. So there's this whole area it's fairly close to the uh, the hospital. Okay. And sorry if I am uh, <laughs> apologizing this morning. I'm just not feeling it today. Um, it's not that I'm not. I don't like doing this. I love doing the live streams. I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic doing it. I think I've just got so much on my mind for the weekend that I'm. I, I'm just sitting here in, like almost in panic mode. The. Um, the festivities when they do kick in, it's going to be really, 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 really busy. So I'm coming down here tonight for the opening ceremony. So I'll have a video post tomorrow. I'll post that. And then tomorrow I'm coming out. And that's when it should be in full swing with uh, all the water and the, the powder and colors and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm sure I've mentioned in the past, but I'll address it here again, just so you guys understand what's going on with me mentally, is uh, I do not do well in crowds, and uh, I have, used to be fine, but with the pandemic and everything that happened, um, I was a bit of a uh, hermit for three years, three plus years before I came over to Southeast Asia. Um, I didn't leave the house without a mask on, until I got here. So all this is new to me. So every day that I go out and I do this kind of stuff, it's now feeling normal. But a few months ago, it was completely foreign to me. So even though I am capable and, and I'm handling things, I do have that anxiety in my head of, oh God. So I should be okay, but I'm nervous about it. So I think that's kind of what's happening right now is I'm feeling I'm feeling that uh, that pressure. And the thing is, is I really, really want to come down and see it. So it's not like I'm forcing myself to do anything. Like, I really want to see how everything is. So, it's not that. It's just, eh. Everybody's got their own idiosyncrasies. We're all, we're all human. We fail in certain ways, so. Okay, and we're gonna cross here. Yeah. Oh. So let's go. Let's see if we can get some grub. Here. So this is the old market. I do love this old market. Okay, so I need to get some money ready. Okay, so I have 
six bucks. So uh, so twenty thousand is five bucks. Five thousand dollars twenty five. So six twenty five. So that's what I'm going to be willing to spend in here today. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Um, so again, not going to be paying much attention to chat. But <laughs> again, yeah, the video may go out. I got the water guns. I should look for baby powder. They got all that stuff. Uh, the plastic sleeves to put my phone and stuff in. Not like I'm too worried about it. My phone is waterproof. I may just buy a Ziploc baggie for it. I know in Thailand, I know that I was watching uh, Two Mad Explorers and they bought these plastic sleeves wear it on the lanyard type of thing put your phone in so I will look for that so again if you guys are leaving messages in chat I am uh, I'll get to you I promise right now it's it's grocery time I do love this market too. Yes. Uh, these no? Yeah. Like Sorry. Is this fish I couldn't, thank you. Okay. I got my noodles to start off with. Okay. Hello. Hello. I got some duck eggs. <laughs> mm. 
Came in there with uh, just over six bucks, six dollars and twenty-five cents. I did exact change today. That's a first for me. I came in with a set amount. I bought a set amount. Um, so I ended up getting ten duck eggs. That was five thousand five hundred. So that was a dollar forty, I think, something like that. Uh, then the pork was two bucks. Bananas was three thousand real, and then my veggies and the noodles. So it was a lot of food. Hello, a lot of food, and I'm once again feeling like an idiot. Okay, let me do this real quick. Put you guys on a. Uh, I need to consolidate everything into one bag so I can not feel like my fingers are being pulled apart. Normally I have a uh, satchel bag that I put over my shoulders, but I don't have it today because I ran. Uh, that should be fine. Okay. You guys still here? Yeah. Whew. That was fun. But, uh, oh, you got to see what it's like shopping at the uh, old market with me. That was as uh, real as it gets. The uh, folks there treat me very well. I tend to use the same folks all the time. Uh, I've been meaning to try the lady with bananas. So, uh, her banana quality is great. I'm good, thank you. Happy New Year. You too. Thank Enjoy. You. Have a great new, have a great weekend. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, the quality in her bananas are top notch there. So, and if you buy them slightly yellowed, uh, it means that they're riper. So I can eat them right away. And. Uh, for the Western palate, it's more palatable. But I know the folks here tend to like their bananas a little greener. And they tend to uh, um, grill them, I've found. I've also seen with the uh, uh, in banana leaves, they'll put sticky rice and banana in that. And that looks yummy. I've been meaning to try it, but I haven't yet. So, whew. well. Oh. You, you can't say I didn't take you on an adventure today, and I have no idea what's happening in chat. Again, my apologies for that. Um, I can only do so much. So I'm carrying a huge bag full of, of foods. I do not have wherewithal to 
to handle champ. But I will try to stop up here and have a moment to take a look at it, see if I can get caught up. If anybody is still here, uh, I, I think. Hello. <laughs> Gentleman knows how to use sign language, and I appreciate. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think I caught the, uh, the failing of the the stream fairly quickly. So, Whew. wow. And I think this is how I'm losing weight. If you want to know the honest truth? Is doing this shit. So. Uh, most days I'll either go out for a walk or for a bike ride. And I usually go for like an hour to two, depending on temperature and how I feel. And then uh, I go back and if I've recorded a video, I will edit and uh, get things organized and ready. And then kind of have breakfast or have a bite to eat, whatever it be. I picked up the cakes this morning, so I still have those to eat. That, that I'm looking forward to. Still have my coffee to finish off. Ugh. But yeah, it's just uh, stupid humid hot. Okay. Can I try? One hand, I'm holding all that food in the, uh... Okay. Oh, God. I don't see any chat. Oh, there we go. Oh. Do duck eggs taste any different from chicken ones? AJ Puzzleker, yes. Uh, they're a little bit richer in flavor, and um, the shell is firmer, and uh, the yolks are much richer in flavor, so I prefer them. Uh, it's 40 degrees over here, too. Balder, I apologize. I know you gave me your real name. Memory sucks. Uh, yeah. Uh, Balder Gems, my apologies again. Uh, the thing is, is you have a name that is foreign to me. <laughs> if it was something like John, I'd remember it, but I do not. So my apologies. But yes, thank you. Uh, I'm trying to remember, you had like a Scandinavian name? I can't remember exactly, but it was really cool. You said it in comments. So again, my apologies. I do what I can. My memory is not the best. I have a hard enough time with basic Kamai. Which is just saying thank you. Okay. Don't get run over too bad. There we go. Oh, I'm happy with the camera. It has uh, streamed this entire thing off of one charge. I know it's supposed to get roughly about an hour per charge. Uh, I could probably hook up my uh, battery pack to it and keep it going. I'm just going to let it drain. I think we're at like 20 or 30 percent still, so it should be enough to get me home. Uh, today, this afternoon, like I mentioned, usually I just go home and eat and edit. I don't have to edit anything because I did the live stream. I'll be doing a lot of editing the next couple of days. So. Uh, I'm going to go home, turn on the AC, finish my coffee and my breakfast, put my food away, play a little bit of video games, and then this afternoon I'm going to treat myself to a movie. Because why not? Uh, I went out and saw the new Ghostbusters movie the other day, and that really cracked me up because... Uh, First off, it was in English, which was a nice treat. 
Uh, they had uh, Kamai subtitles, which was very cool. It was a very packed theater. A lot of uh, young folks were there. So it was nice to see that Ghostbusters is a thing that, you know, came over here. Uh, I enjoyed the movie. I did not hate on it at all. I know that some people are not fans of the new movies. For me, it's just a continuation of a series of stories that I loved when I was younger. And I love seeing the actors, you know, still doing it. You know, Dan Aykroyd was cracking me up. You know, still owning into, like, the whole weird scientist thing, but he now owns, like, a bookstore. And I loved it. I loved it. But the thing that I thought was hilarious was there's a lot of jokes in it that are like slight pop culture references to stuff back home. And a lot of the jokes were visual. So I would see something crack me up and I'd start laughing. And there were like a couple of young girls that were just sitting a couple of seats away from me. And after the second or third time I did that, they were staring at me. I tried to figure out what was wrong with me. <laughs> Which, when I noticed that they were staring, just made it even funnier for me. And then there was a lot of times that the jokes, the ones that were spoken, um, because again, it was uh, subtitles in Khmer. Either the, uh, the jokes uh, either didn't hit or the translation came through like a few seconds later so I'd be laughing and then a few seconds later everyone else in the theater would be laughing so that was kind of fun it was a uh, it was a neat experience so yeah I think I'm gonna go treat myself to a movie this afternoon and again I don't like to plan out where I'm doing for the movies I just go uh, I've checked there's a couple of horror films a lot of horror films here which to me is fucking aces. I love horror. So I'm, I'm down for horror films completely. But uh, yeah, there was one that I'm not too sure where it originates, but it looks super graphic. Like the, 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 in the trailer, it shows them going to what looks like a version of hell. And uh, uh, if you've ever seen Hellraiser, the uh, the Cenobites and stuff with the, the torture, like I call it the torture porn. The series that they had of like graphic, visceral, uh, you know, horror back in the 90s and the early 2000s, and it looks like they're doing that here, which I was like, oh. So, um, I don't know if that one has English subtitles, but I'm tempted just to go and watch it anyway, just because I don't really care if I understand what's going on. Sometimes you can get enough out of just watching it to get a sense of what's going on, so I may. If they have subtitles, it'd be all the better. Uh, there's also one from the, the West, I think it's called Baghead. So that's another one that they've got going on here. I don't know. I'll just go and see whatever they have. But yeah, I'll just... Once I get back and once I've settled and I feel relaxed and I want to do something, I will go to a movie to kill the afternoon heat. Oh, ooh, heat. Okay. Music jamming up here again. I have no idea how that picks up. I, I, I have to check that sometimes to see how well that gets transferred to you guys here. Because it's loud to me. I have no idea how loud it is to you guys. I have no idea why the uh, baby outlet would have music so loud. It is what it is. Hello. There's a few locations that have music playing all the time, which is cool. I have no idea what it is that they're playing, but I love the fact that they enjoy the tunes here. Oh, God. Okay, it's transferring to my other hand. 
Ooh. Yeah, I would love to have my other bag today. But I just, it's got a long handle on it that I put over my shoulder. Or sometimes I take my backpack with me. Why didn't I bring my backpack today? I could have just as easily done it. Oh well, is what it is. Oh. So, uh, yeah, so this afternoon I will go out to see a movie. And then after dinner, I'll head down to the waterfront and check out the uh, festivities. Try to get a decent night's sleep. And then tomorrow morning, head out and see when it starts. Ooh, it's gonna be gonna be fun. I'm actually looking forward to uh, seeing the celebration because I've never like I've seen videos of the water, you know, getting squirted at people and uh, how amazing. But interesting to see how how it goes. Oh, I see the the uh, battery just went. That'd be cool. Okay. You know what? I think we are good. I'm exhausted from the uh, heat and the walking and everything. Uh, again, my apologies to anybody if you were trying to get me in chat. Today was not a great day for it. Um, I will try to live stream. Uh, it'd be a Sunday morning live stream here if you're in Southeast Asia. If you are in North America, it'd be Saturday evening sometime. So I try to do two a week. So we'll see how well it goes with the uh, celebration. Because if I can do it like this, or just me and my camera, no microphones, no nothing, that makes it a little bit easier so I don't have to worry about things so this camera seemed to work out pretty good I'm interested to see the quality when I get home I'll check out some of the stuff but yeah again my apologies to anybody uh, ooh, that's the other thing too live stream on the weekend if the water's going there'll be no chat with me because <laughs> uh, I'll have to try to keep my phone dry but we'll see uh, again, if you guys are watching this after the fact and you do like my content, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, if you are so inclined, there may be a window pop up to recommend another video to you. But again, thanks everybody for coming out to the stream. And again, my apologies. But uh, ah, we did it. And we got to go uh, shopping. So that was fun. Alright, I'll see you guys soon.